Wam. First off, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rocha Kodash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, who the world annually calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world annually calls Jesus Christ. Peace, grace, and mercy be upon the house of David, the Bayath Dawada, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. And double honest of the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from, and to Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for putting the Spirit on me to do this lesson and to feed the sheep of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai as it is commanded of us to do. So I um, just wanted to get into this. Uh, I mean, I was just doing a little bit of reading. And, um, you know, I just came across this uh, scripture right here in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, 16th chapter, the 15th verse. And I read it. It says, I beseech you, brethren, ye know the house of Stephanus, that it is the first fruits of Arcadia, and that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. All right. So, you know, that word right there, addicted, okay, it uh, stood out to me, you know, through the spirit. And right. And that's how we're supposed to be. You know, um, you know, as ambassadors of Hamashiach, all right, especially the ones who um, have the spirit of prophecy on them, okay, the ones who the Lord have, um, you know, uh, ordained to, um, you know, preach this word. And actually, when you go into the word addicted, all right, ordained is actually one of the uh, is one of the uh, words also used or translated for this uh, Greek word, which is uh, tasso. All right, so let me uh, pull this up real quick. So as I say, the Greek word right there is uh, tasso, and um, it says to put in order, to station, to place in a certain order, to arrange, to assign a place, to appoint, to assign or appoint a thing to one. It says to appoint, ordain, order, to appoint one's own responsibility or authority, to appoint mutually, i.e. agreed upon. When you go down here to the Strong's. All right. The word is also uh, translated. Tasso is translated to appoint, ordain, set, determine, or addict. So you know, for the sake of the lesson, um, as you read here, Paul says, "What I beseech you, brethren, ye know that the house of Stephanus, that it is the first fruits of Arcadia, or Ar Arcadia, and that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints." All right. And once again, you know, that's what. The Lord has set up the men, you know, that are that you see that are are diligently, you know, uh, you know, uh, feeding the sheep of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the ones who are constantly, you know, uh, putting out, you know, uh, videos or going out on the highways and byways. When you see them, they seem as if they are addicted to the ministry. All right, and that's why, and the reason uh, uh, for that is because, as Yahweh Shai said, that the harvest is great. All right. The harvest is great, but the laborers are few. So the ones who the Lord set up to be laborers, they are addicted to to be being those laborers. They're addicted to this work. OK. And, and when you go into, you know, when you go into it, it's like how, you know, we equate in this truth. We equate this truth to a uh, a beautiful uh, woman. All right. And when you are addicted to a, you know, a woman, because going into the definition, once again, it says to put in order. So this truth is supposed to be you know, a top priority or the top priority of your life, okay? This the ministry of the saints, meaning, you know, the service of the saints, a.k.a. the feeding the lambs of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is supposed to be a top priority, okay? And this truth, this wisdom, you know, is equivalent to a uh, beautiful woman. Now, when you have a woman, you know, that is, you know, down for you, that is beautiful, that, you know, is is everything that your heart desires, what are you going to do to that woman? You want to make her your top priority. All right. And that's why, you know, this truth. And even when you go into the word uh, wisdom and, you know, I just looked it up. Um, I'll pull it up in this scripture right here. It's uh, Exodus 28, I believe. Uh, go to verse three. And I'm just going to this verse. It's not really a part of the uh, of the lesson, but more so I just wanted the word wisdom. So the word wisdom is uh, chakama, okay, chakama, and when you look at it, it's actually a feminine uh, noun. You see right there, it's part of speech, feminine noun, all right? 
So the actual word wisdom has a feminine um, you know, uh, uh, a notation uh, to it. That's why even in the Greek, the word for wisdom is Sophia, which is a, a you know a female name. You know, a lot of women you know uh, have the name Sophia. Just as why because the actual Hebrew word for wisdom is Chakma, and it's a feminine noun. It has a feminine uh, uh, a notation to it, as opposed to Aaron. You know, just go there. Just to show you Aaron, which was you know the high priest brother of Moses. You can go to his name. It says what part of speech property masculine noun. So that's why, you know, this truth is is likened unto a uh, woman, you know, because it is actually, a, a you know, has that feminine, um, the word for chakama is actually a feminine, um, a feminine uh, um, uh, noun. So this truth is supposed, you're supposed to be addicted to this ministry as you would be addicted to a beautiful woman. Okay. And also as Paul, you know, um, states in this, in the book of, of Ephesians, Pull that up, because when you're addicted to this truth, you're going to have this type of same type of sentiment. Ephesians chapter four, verse one. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. You see, Paul was addicted to this truth in so much that he considered himself a prisoner of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. Okay, he put this. He put the truth so uh, you know as as the top ranking thing in his life which we're all supposed to do, you know, and, and the ones who do that, you see the fruits of that. You see the fruits of their labors. Okay. They're, they're constantly, you know, abounding in the work of the Lord. All right. They're constantly edifying. You go to their, their, their page. They're constantly putting out things through the spirit. Cause once again, when you go into the word, uh, uh, um, um, addict, it also goes into being appointed or ordained. Actually, let me go back to that. All right, and 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 ultimately, it's the Lord who addicts you to this truth. Okay, it's the it's the Lord who who appoints you to it. <clears throat> it's like that. Uh, it's like a marriage. You know, the Lord appointed you, Salakia. The Lord appointed you this woman that you have become that you have became addicted to. You see, so going back um, to this word addicted, because I want to get another point or precept. So when you go to addicted and you go to um, ordained, right? So this scripture right here popped up, um, Acts 13, verse 48. It says, when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. And as many as were ordained to eternal life believed, all right? Ordained or addicted to eternal life. And that's really ultimately the elect. All right, the elect are are addicted to the belief of eternal life, which is why we, you know, constantly push out this word. This is why we minister into the saints because this the, the majority of this world they're not addicted to the belief. All right, they're not addicted to uh, um, the the belief of eternal life, and we know that the only way to get eternal life is through Yahweh Shai, is through doing His uh, commandments, doing His will. All right, the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So that's why we come off as being addicted ultimately because the Lord predestined his elect to be those uh, first fruits, to be those ones who are chosen to receive that eternal life. All right. So in, in order for them to receive that eternal life, they had to be addicted to the ministry or to the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And that's why they had these certain attributes, in, um, which once again, another one of those attributes is. Something that Yahweh Shai told us that we have to do. Uh, Matthew chapter 37, verse Salakia. Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. It says, He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. You see, so imagine a woman, you know, that woman being Chachama, wisdom, telling you that, look, you got to be addicted to me more than your father or mother or your children, or else you're not worthy of me. But that's what Yahweh Shai is saying about uh, uh, um, about him, all right? Which in him comes what? Eternal life. So in order to receive Yahweh Shai or receive the reward of, of you know, Yahweh Shai, you got to be addicted to him or put him, uh, um, you know, first, you know, prioritize him above everything else in your life, all right? 
It says, verse 38, and he that taketh not his cross and follow after and follow after me is not worthy of me. Meaning what? Your persecution. All right. Your afflictions. You got to take that up. All right. It, it, the, the persecution and afflictions that's going to come with being addicted to this woman. You got to still deal with that. You know, just like how in the world, say that you have a woman, if you really love her, right, you're going to do what? You're going to take all the hell all right, and all the uh, uh, you know, all the afflictions are the you know the the headaches that comes that comes with her, right? So how much more of being addicted to this ministry of the saints? It says, "He that taketh not his cross and follow after and follow after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it." And there's nothing more addicted, you know. Uh, there's nothing more addictive. Nothing say that you're addictive. Um, to something more than being willing to lose your life for it. You see, like people that are addicted to drugs, they're so addicted that, that they're willing to take that drug, even if it might cost them their life. You see people that overdose, people that, you know, are heroin addicts, crack addicts, you know, alcohol abusers, they're doing that to the detriment of their life, of their actual own life, because they're addicted to that substance. But the Lord is saying to us, look, <laughs> If you're willing to lose this life that you have on this side, all right, in order to be addicted to me, I'm going to give you what? I'm going to give you eternal life, okay? So that's why our, our suffering is not worthy to be compared to the actual glory of being addicted. Yes, being addicted to this ministry comes with pain. It comes with uh, uh, afflictions, all right? As, as, is, as it is written, he that um, serves, uh, you know... Uh, Anybody that prepares to serve the Lord, prepare that soul for temptation. All right, and all that, um, all that, uh, all that uh, serve Yahweh Shai, so suffer persecution. All right, not verbatim, but um, going on to you know just another precept, Mark chapter three, uh, eight, verse thirty-four. It says, and when he had called unto him, so like, and when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them. Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. AKA what? Become addicted to the Lord. You're addicted to the point where you're denying your own desires. All right. All right. You're addicted to this woman so much, Chakama wisdom, that you are de denying your own the, 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 your own flesh. Okay. Verse uh, 35. Whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. All right. Those are the ones who are going to be addicted to the ministry of the saints, the ones who are willing to lose their life for the sake of Yahweh Shai in this gospel. Those are the ones that's actually going to find eternal life. Those are the ones that's going to be appointed eternal life because they believed on this on this uh, on this woman so much or they are addicted to this woman so much. That their actual own life that they're living now is not even comparable to the love of of that they have of to uh, for this woman. All right, Isaiah chapter sixty-two, right, uh, verse six. And now this is just another example of somebody who is going to be addicted to the ministry. This is what they're going to be doing. Isaiah sixty-two, verse six. I have set watchmen upon the walls of Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silent. Okay? So somebody that's addicted to something, they're going to be doing it constantly. <laughs> All right? It says what? They shall never hold their peace day nor night. You know, as, as Jeremiah said, he tried, to, he tried to, you know, shut up his mouth, but it was like a fire in his bones. He could not forbear with, with, uh, with, with uh, uh, he could not forbear. He had to speak. You see, because he was addicted to it. He was addicted to speaking, which once again, that was appointed or ordained him by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So it says these watchmen, all right, the aka the ministers, the, the ministers uh, uh, unto the servants. So like the ministers unto the saints, they are never going to hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent and give him no rest till he establish until he makes Jerusalem a praise in the in the earth. Okay, these are the ones who are addicted to this woman. They're not going to give the Heavenly Father, <laughs> Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, no rest until, until they receive that reward of being addicted to this woman, which is what? 
being a, a, a praise on the earth again, aka having that eternal life, having that reward that is with Yahweh Shai, right? Romans chapter uh, 12, verse 11, it says, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, okay? And that's how we're supposed to be. When you're addicted, you're going to be what? Fervent in the spirit. And when you go into that word fervent, it means hot, you know? Just like if you got a bad woman, like you see her, like we think about her, what? She makes you hot, man. You get hot for her. It says boiling with heat, you see? It says fervent in spirit, said of the zeal for that what, for that what is good. And what is the good works? All right, doing the works of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, fervent in spirit, which is why Yahweh, Yah, which is why Yahweh Shai said in the book of Revelation 3, verse. Uh, let's lock it. Is it two? Yeah, uh, no, not two. Yeah, it is three. It's so lock it. Bear with me one second. Uh, Revelation 3, verse uh, 15 says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. All right. So the, right there, the Lord said what? That um, he knows your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. Now, this is talking about somebody. Okay, I'll just read it. It says, I would, I would thou work cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Okay. So now using the example of, once again, that wisdom, all right, which is a, uh, you know, has that female noun, all right, uh, 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 comparing this truth into a uh, woman. Imagine you have a woman that views you as not being really into her, you know, you're not really, you're, you're kind of into her, you're lukewarm. Now, if uh, that woman would want you to be really into her, aka to be hot, right, to be addicted, to, to be all about her, to, to prioritize her, to put her in that order of the first rank, you know, the first thing in her mind, the first thing in your mind. That's what Yahweh Shai is saying about your works and his truth. All right. Your ministry unto the saints. You're supposed to be you're supposed to be hot, fervent in the spirit, serving the Lord. OK, because serving, serving or feeding the sheep is how we serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The Lord said, what? If you love me, feed my sheep. OK, now the Lord is saying, what? I would that you would be either cold or hot, meaning that you won't eat, you won't deal with me at all. You know, once again, Using the example as a woman, like a woman doesn't want to be toyed with, right? She don't want you to, you know, uh, uh, sometimes be with her or sometimes care about her, all right? She'd rather just you just not deal with her at all, all right? Or if you're going to deal with her, be really into her. Once again, how much more of this truth, you know? That's how we're supposed to be of this truth. You can't be lukewarm, you know? Sometimes you want to, you know, uh, deal with this truth. Sometimes you want to minister into the saints. Sometimes you want to do videos. Sometimes you want to go out. No, because the Lord said, what? If you're that way, he's just going to spew you out. He's going to dump you. <laughs> That's basically what that means. He's just going to dump you. You see? He wants you to be hot for him, man. Right? So um, with that, I'll get one more scripture and I'll close it out. The book of Hebrews chapter... Where is it at? It's like, yeah. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. It says... For it, for the Most High is not unrighteous that ye forget your works, forget your work or labor of love. All right, because when you go into the word love, uh, labor, like you, when you go into into the word labor, it goes into uh, you know, your toils. It says uh, trouble to cause one trouble, make work for him. Intense labor united with trouble or toil. You see, because when even <laughs> once again. When you're dealing with a woman, even though you love her, guess what? She's gonna give you trouble, man. She gonna give you uh 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 she gonna give you you're gonna catch hell dealing with a woman. All right. Hey, what did Paul say? That um that you should have trouble in the flesh <laughs> when you have a woman, or when you're married, you're gonna have trouble in the flesh. Well, in when you're in this relationship, when you're addicted to this woman and this truth, guess what? You you're gonna have trouble. You're gonna have a labor, toil. But the Lord said, the Heavenly Father said, well, he's not unrighteous to forget your work because a woman or, or your labor of love. Because a woman in this world, all right, uh, you know, actual female, she might she might forget the fact that you were dealing with her, you know, the hell that you're catching dealing with her. You know, she might not appreciate it. She might not, you know, uh, uh, value it. 
or find it worthy. But the Lord is not like that. The Lord said he's not unrighteous to forget your work or your labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name. OK, because everything we're doing, we're doing unto the glory and the, and the magnification of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shad. And that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. And that's the work right there. And we are glorifying the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad and our body by ministering unto the saints. All right. We have addicted ourselves unto this labor of love. OK, that we have by ministering unto the saints of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad. OK, edifying, waking up the elect. OK, giving them the words of, of, of as the scripture says, how can they how can they believe unless they've been a, a preacher? All right. So so giving the, uh, the the sheep the words of righteousness so that they can repent and turn back into your how about And that and that comes with labor that comes with toil that comes with trouble. All right. And, and here's an example of that. Uh, so like I know I said this will be the last scripture, but this is the last scripture right here. Here's an example of that toil and that labor. That we have because we're addicted to this to this woman. All right. Second Corinthians six, verse four. But in all things, approving ourselves as ministers of the most high in much patience, inflictions and necessities and distresses. <laughs> you, know, you have to have all this when you're dealing with a woman. OK, you got to have patience. You got to you're going to catch afflictions, necessities, distresses and stripes, imprisonments and turmoil and tumults and labors and watchings and fastings. You see. All these things happen when you are addicted, okay? When you put something first, all right? When you put something first, the Lord said what? That you're going to, you, uh, when you put this woman first, I should say, all right? Chakamah, wisdom. When you put this woman first, the ministry of, the ministry of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're going to catch hell, all right? Through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom of the Most High, all right? Acts 4, verse 22. But, but yet, those men who are, Entering into uh, the, those men who are dealing with, you know, the hell, okay, the ones who endure until the end, the ones who stays with this woman until the end, they're the ones that's going to receive that glory, that reward of being with this woman, even though you caught hell for this woman, okay? Be, why? Because you were addicted to her, all right? You were addicted to, to her beauty, all right? So I'm going to read this again. It says, I beseech you, brethren, ye know that the house of Stephanus, that it is the first fruits of Arcadia. And that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints, that ye submit yourselves unto such and to everyone that helpeth with us and laboreth. So those men that you see that are addicted to this woman, that are constantly dealing with the hell that comes with, you know, uh, uh, being addicted to this ministry. You, if you're not in that in that seat of, uh, you know, you know, teaching, you're supposed to submit yourselves unto those teachers. You're supposed to submit yourselves unto those ones. To the ones who are dealing with the, the toil and the trouble that comes with uh, uh, the labor of love. You see? So, you know, uh, I you know, just want to throw that out there. And that's why we give double honors to our elders. And that's why the ones who are, you know, learning and being edified by the men that are teaching you, you're supposed to reverence and respect and honor those men. All right? So, you know, with that, Lord willing, this was edifying unto the elect, to the sheep of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who we endure things for. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and Shalom.